Hey guys, so in Singapore, thanks to COVID, the new normal requires you to make cashless payments using a QR code. And there's two major problems that I need to get off my chest. So, and maybe those two problems will apply to your cashless system in your country. So do comment below. The first problem is now we have too many QR codes and no one can tell the difference very easily. <sighs> Number two, is that if you use a, um, a QR code to pay, it's very difficult to see if people have paid you in a timely manner. So let me just go through what the user experience should be like, right? So this is a QR code generated by a form. I, I did it for a friend. You scan it and then you basically get a prompt for the how much to pay him with a reference number and you click next and that that's pretty seamless that's that's good except that my friend won't get a payment receipt a timely payment receipt they typically might get it by email might get it by sms and there might be a, a, quite a few minutes delay and there's no programmatic api so basically my um, any supplier or vendor has to dig around to find the the payment this is a huge problem for, you know, fast moving, uh, you know, for a food center. And, f you know, people are showing fake payment receipts like screenshots and basically duping, you know, old, old vendors who, who don't understand the limitations of the, of the technology. You know, they just trust that the person paid and they didn't pay and they don't, and they don't have a, a, a way to check because the payment receipts are unreliable and there's no API. So you can't check off if someone's paid you. Now, there are uh, a couple of companies like Nets and I think Exfers, I don't know how to pronounce it, who do offer a service to give you a bit more instant way of checking off um, a certain reference has come in. But um, they charge like 50 cents a transaction for doing that. Would you believe it? So that sucks. Now, I've talked about payment receipts being a total pain. Now, let me tell you about just the sheer amount of QR codes. You know, you walk into a store and like, which QR code do I, I scan? So the solution here is um, the Singapore Monetary Authority come up with this thing called SGQR. So the idea with SGQR is that it encodes basically all the different vendors and, and has a way of sort of like, if you scan like a grab QR code, then it should somehow go to the right application. So the money goes to the right thing. There's so many different QR codes. Of course, it doesn't cover uh, safe entry, the thing that you need to, to scan on every, when you go visit a bu building. That's so irritating. But with SGQR, the big problem is that you can't have any dynamic elements like having the amount, and having the reference number. So it's kind of useless to be using a SGQR. Like, I don't understand why it can't simply just be, I don't know, like a, like some sort of scheme URL, you know, like a colon slash slash protocol to go to the right thing. So, you know, inevitably, if you have the wrong app open and you scan the QR code, you just generally just have a terrible user experience. And SGQR doesn't really solve the problem because it's limited. Please stop making technology suck. We can do better than this. Make payment receipts free and fast. Please, someone, do it. And don't charge 50 cents a pop for doing it. It doesn't make sense for the people that need this convenience. Okay, guys, that's all I had to say. Bye. Please like the video. Please subscribe for more. And do comment below if, if you're having a QR nightmare in your country. Shucks.